sense. But I just had the neon green one. Every, when I'm in Europe, I always feel like I have to wear crappy jewelry, <laughs> so I buy huh. swatches. I don't know why. Every time I go to Spain, I heard every you time totally I go, get groped on the like subway. A, no, on the train, like people. No, grope from the standpoint of like pickpockets or just like. Oh yeah, yeah, that's a thing. Like you can feel the hands. No, you can't feel them. That's the thing. So they're, they're so good. I was in I was in Italy in Rome with a group of people, mm-hmm. and with we pick were warned. Or you were just... Yes, we were warned. We no, my group of people. Did, were oh, not you were tourists. We were tourists. We were warned about these like occurrences in which you'll lose something on your body. This guy who's literally like a liver. This like a liver. <laughs> ginormous <laughs> organ donor. He yeah. was wearing a Rolex that was like full, you know, and he right. was very aware was that on. he was. We got to a bar. And he was like, my watch is gone. He didn't know when it got taken. He didn't know how long wow. it was gone. They're good. And somebody came up and unclasped his Rolex, which is not, I've seen you that, can feel it. I've seen, no, I've seen that done. It's crazy. I've here's the thing. Done. I think that here's here, the lesson is, is go to a uh, professional, right? And whatever you're doing. So you have a collection of swatches. <laughs> A collection and Gucci glasses. Okay, sunglasses. Wait a minute. What constitutes a collection? Is that more than three? Do you keep those like near your collection of nagels? Also, nagels. I don't know what a nagel is. I don't know either. The painting, the artist. Oh my uh, god, from the eighties. <laughs> <laughs> oh nice. Oh <laughs> the nagels. Oh wow. It's you not even super, a painting. It was a super print. 80s. Oh you went yeah. Super eighties. No, because I bought oh, my so good for you. <laughs> She's still doing super eighties. <laughs> Those were nineties. That's a um by the way that's my, a, no 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 my swatch 80s. collection came from the nineties. I'm gonna bring it Again. all the way around, but that's a uh, Black Mirror episode too. Is the whole eighties all wow. the eighties stuff. We're not talking about Black Mirror anymore. Okay, fine. I don't remember that. Yeah, no, it's uh it's Oh no, that's is it San Isidro or I don't think it's that's like whether they're on the beach town or whatever? Catch 80s. Yeah, it's all eighties. Didn't feel eighties. Total eighties. I just discovered a new thing on Netflix. So we talked about before how I was that one's watching awesome. like Oh, it's so good. That you should watch that one. No, I'm not watching any Black Mirrors. No. Fuck all you guys. No, you no. should watch this one. This is a this is a good one, right? There's right. no pigs. It's awesome. There's no yeah. No. Watch yeah. this one. It's all right. great. Text me the episode. There's no pigs. There's San, no what? Do you know the name of it? San It's San something. No, it's San uh San something. He'll, no, he's he's gonna look it up. You tell your story. Oh my gosh. So I was telling you that I was listening to or watching all the Narcos episodes in Spanish, right? And then I decided I moved oh, yeah, on to um, this other. I found Gina this Pero. Netflix show, S- Sandy um, Nepper, that is based in Madrid, Spain, and it's all in Spanish. And what was funny is like when I was watching Narcos and all these Mexico versions, um, I I had to use the subtitles because. I learned how whoa, to speak whoa, whoa, Spanish whoa, whoa. in Spain. And for some reason, I was like, oh, I'm just out of practice. I don't so know anything. So the South American Spanish is different than Spain Spanish? It, just shut, shut your trap you and kidding? listen. I know, I know. First of all, yes. I but kidding. I had forgotten. So I, I was like, oh, my Spanish has gotten horrible. So anyway, I picked another one. Happened to be based in Spain. Suddenly, Invest. I'm like, oh, my God. I don't need the subtitles. This is ex- I, I totally can understand all of it. It's a completely different... It was so weird. It felt so familiar. And so so anyway, I've been watching this. I literally have wa- like blown through six years, six seasons. Of Narcos? Of, no, no, no. I have a different show. It's called Velvet, actually. And it, but it's based in Madrid, Spain. Well, actually, two years are based in Barcelona. But anyway, I can I don't need subtitles. That's the moral of the story. Oh, that's I'm excited. Cool. My Spanish is not as bad as I thought it was. It's just... I heard something called the I'm Umbrella Academy is pretty good. Has anybody heard of this? No. I have a really weird a show. Friend. Yeah. On Netflix. Oh. It's, it's the best. Umbrella <laughs> Academy? You sir wait. What's it about? What are you doing when it's you do sort that? Sort of superhero way. Oh, is it superhero? Yeah. yeah. No, but it's it's like superhero light. Like, they're not like super super powered, right? They're like moderately powered superheroes. Um, Low power? All of it. Oh, all, okay. Uh, there's the full range of powers. Okay. Like invisibility? No, no, not not that kind of powers. But there's so there's let's see, the weakest power is probably Yeah, give me a power. It, uh, might be this this one guy I think he's just strong. Okay. Just That's sort pretty of, typical. Like, sort of regular strong. Oh. Like regular strong? Yeah, like no maybe I missed a power. Let's see. Besides like, the guy like, who, like Julian who, Strong who or? seems to be just regular strong. Okay. There's a guy who can throw knives. But really good. 
He can steer him. Oh, okay. Yeah. With his mind? Yeah. Well, I don't think we know. It's like around, just, cor- around corners. Yeah. Oh, okay. It's, okay. It's pretty cool. Okay. It is just knives, though. Just knives. And there's another guy who can travel time. Oh, well, I mean, fuck. That's, well, not, that's no, a big super that. powder. That's powder. not fair. Sorry, powder. Power. I'm, I'm going to travel time back to Thursday so we can go to Mario and John's. <laughs> <laughs> For a hot, hot dog. dogs. Or you know, every you Thursday. Could, you know what you could do? Travel forward. It's just wait. <laughs> <laughs> just live your life in next Thursday. <laughs> and then <laughs> Thursday will be here. <laughs> But I can promise you, when? you guys you have are gonna, <laughs> you guys are going to have to remind me on Wednesday because by then I'll have forgotten that there's something to look forward to on Thursday. That's officially a job for Buka. Can you send me a text on Wednesday and be like, "Tomorrow, tell your hot go- dog day. tell your Google Home, set a reminder, <laughs> and, and you'll get it Hello, Saturday." Google, remind <laughs> remind me Thursday morning that it's Saturday, hot dog it's, day. It's, yeah, Saturday. It's like you missed your hot dog on Thursday. Uh... See, I told you it was the '80s. You're right. That's totally the 80s. Is Black, Mirror, Black Mirror. San Junipero. Oh, San Junipero. Okay. Very good episode. Sing <laughs> Can you it. sing that? Hey, Booker, do you sing country songs? I do. Oh, yeah. Because you, you strike me as somebody who probably sounds very, very awesome singing. I was going to say something sexy. but um, I Have you ever heard of Maggie Rose? I uh, don't recall. She's a current Nashville singer who just happens to be a friend of a friend of mine. Well, and couldn't so that be like anybody in current to. Nashville? I mean, you go to Nashville. It's like, it's like no, the no, LA I mean, you of know country I mean, like, music, She's not right? like, a, like a super famous country singer yet. Um, I mean, she's famous. But I mean, if you're an famous. actor, you get yeah. off the bus or an actress, you get off the bus in LA. If you're a musician or a country musician, you, you get, get off, off the, the bus, bus in, in Nashville. Nashville right? Right? Well, she's I, made it. I, I do have a friend who's a new country singer. Um, in any case, I'm just, I'm thinking I want to hear you sing a country song. You, you, you right now. Pro- you probably do. Right now. Will you sing it tomorrow? You only sing for money though, don't you? Typically? No. Typically. I mean, if you're, if you're good at something, you don't give it away, right? That's, well, that's interesting you said that. Okay. Why? Now I do things because I want to. Oh, that's huge. <laughs> okay. I will tell you a story. Isn't that crazy? This is really sweet. But oh, when I, oh, sorry, no, go. she's got a story. But you do. You finish your thought. You is do it, the story. Is that the same I'm topic. Navigate. It's about the same topic, and you. Go ahead. Oh. Um, oh, if it's about me, go ahead. <laughs> <laughs> I said that pre about me. Uh, one day we went across the street to the Petaluma Hotel. I can't remember why. It was like it started out work related, and then we ended up at. Anyway, they have a happy hour in the lounge, a suckery parlor, and there's a piano in the lobby, and. Um, I was, first of all, I asked him, I'm like, can you sit down and play a song? And, and as I said this, I was thinking in my head, there's no fucking way he's going to sit in this lobby and play a song for me because he just, does, that's not like, he didn't want to be on perf- in performance at that moment. We were actually there just kind of debriefing from the day or whatever. Um, but he did, he sat down at the piano, he started playing and then he started singing, belting out. I almost started crying. I'm not joking. I was sitting there. I didn't know what to do with myself. He was singing and playing the piano, and it was so good, and I had goosebumps, and I was like, and in my mind, for half a second, even though I knew he wasn't, like, serenading me, right, I was imagining standing there and somebody singing to me, and I I almost started crying. I thought, oh, my God. this. So that's like a superpower, too. That was a superpower, and I'm not, like, one of those groupie musician people, but I totally felt my knees buckle i didn't think you liked it actually yeah, i loved it That's i really, loved that in, in that moment i was like oh my god he's singing to me i thought Which you're embarrassed i'm sure it was not the case but <laughs> I, it was great i now i can see why women fall for musicians musicians, Fucking musicians. like that might be a new thing for me what? Fucking musicians. musicians although i thought I, it was race car drivers no i'm not no. you're done with that I was Shane. <laughs> the driver I was time. talking to Shane yesterday or the other day about doing a wine event here, mm-hmm. and we're planning it out. And, he, and he's going, "Okay, so you're going to do this. Um, so what kind of signage are you going to do, and how are we going to do the? How are we going to brand it, and which <laughs> which your things are we going to? How are we going to? Which thing are we going to brand it to? And I go, "No, no, no. I'm just going to pour, pour wine. Yeah. Wait a minute. What? Because, well, which what?" Uh, should we, uh, we're going to put your real estate sign behind you or? He's trying to figure out how to maximize your exposure. No, 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 no. I'm just going to, 
I'm just going to pour wine for people. Yeah. Well, I know, but how's it going to, how are we going to turn it back? I'm not, I'm not going to. Yeah. I'm just no, doing it because I want to do it. Yeah, well, what's I'm your not, angle off it? Yeah. I, yeah. It's exactly. Yeah. No, no. Just, but it's so funny that you've had is, that conversation. I'm going to pour, pour wine <laughs> and we're going to drink people wine. People are going to have fun. And, <laughs> Son of a gun, but I don't get it. What's the hook? <laughs> well, that's funny that you're telling me that you're having this conversation with Shane because <laughs> he, I have the same conversation with, with him weekly. He was, he couldn't deal with it. But here's <laughs> the No, here's the kicker. Lock him up. I have this conversation with him weekly the other way around. He's always helping me with events and this and that. And I keep saying to him, but Shane, how can we tie this back to Shane and what Shane does? By the and, way, and he's like, I, don't worry about that. I just, let's just do it. He does the same thing every single time. Oh. Every time. I keep saying, Shane, how can we promote Shane? How can we promote Sh- Sip Society or, or whatever it is you're doing? Like, what's what can we do for you? And he's like, no, no, no. No, no it's fine. We're just going to – we'll figure it out later. We'll just I'm just going to get this so thing together. Funny. When is that motherfucker yeah. going to do the Keller Street podcast? I don't know. He's I doing this on purpose. Today. No. I told week, him today. I know. What the fuck? Every week I tell him and he's like, nope. No, nope. I'm going to wait to tie does he it up do? a little bit. He, you know, he wants me to like button it up and be perfect. Jeez, He's just screwing with me is all it is. Like that's what Shane does. That's Shane's thing. He's he just, yelling like, at me to get in here today. And I was like, dude, I, I haven't seen Shane in there yet. Uh, yeah. He won't do it. He <laughs> Why wouldn't he do it? Is he shy? No, he's just screwing with me. He's totally just screwing with me. He's, yeah. He thinks he has nothing to say. He's, he's the not shy. freaking he- most hysterical guy ever. Every yeah. every other sentence that he comes out of everybody's mouth around here, like Shane's in the second sentence. Mm-hmm. Yeah, blah, 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 blah. Like oh, our, and Shane. <laughs> Shane. Oh, my God. Did you see they're just starting to close all the blinds and the lights? And oh, we should get the <laughs> Falcon should. out of here. Yeah, Falcon. You got kids calling you. Yep. Book has got stuff happening nice. over there. Kids calling me, I, too. I have. Them, they're looking for the refund. Who's? <laughs> <laughs> their tax refund. <laughs> their tax refund. All right. I want to know how, what's your shave going to look like tomorrow? Oh, yeah. Is that a new look? So it's this gonna, is the base this, look? It's, it's going to look baseline. like this plus <laughs> like one millimeter. <laughs> yeah. Like this? It doesn't, I, it doesn't change that quickly. I'm glad. It's like a week from Is me. that the Hawaiian? You don't see a lot of Samoan no, beards. I just beards. got screwed. Yeah, I don't know. You know, I'm half Norwegian, which means I should have a huge beard. Wait a minute. Norwegian Hawaiian? I'm more Norwegian. Okay. Yeah. I'm, Norwegians have oh, big did, beards. I'm a did full you, half Norwegian. Did you do the? Has everybody done? Twenty three me. Are you the DNA? Do I have you. Yeah. Okay, we should talk about that next time. Next time. Everybody's. I did mine. <laughs> what came out in the wash and their, <laughs> their DNA, DNA test? Jeez Louise! Oh, and then man. they changed it. They were like reassessed, and they're like, "Oh, we're gonna adjust your numbers a little bit." Oh, it, really? Constantly me. Oh, yeah. because they get new information. Basically. Bullshit. My DNA doesn't change, does no, it? No, but they no, learn but, more about yeah, how they analyze change. Yeah. But then what how what kind of faith am I supposed to put in the first result? You're if not. they keep None. changing it. Zero. It's, what it's, about the second result? Ten percent. <laughs> <laughs> okay, fine. Well, it's been fun. All right. Hot dogs next Thursday. <laughs> Thursday. All right. Mario Johnson. I'm in. Bye. Meet you there. <laughs> oh, I'm gonna wrap up with this. Oh, oh it we, didn't even work. Hold on, hold on. Epic. Okay, let's turn it up. Yeah, I gotta turn it up. Hot <laughs> Network. <laughs>